Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 41. Let me read out the problem. Uh, an electron is shot directly towards the center of a large metallic plate. So first thing to note is that we have a charge in metallic plate. It is a conducting plate. Uh, that has a surface charge density minus 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb per meter squared. If the initial kinetic energy of the electron is 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 17 joules and if the electron is to stop due to electrostatic repulsion from the plate just as it reaches the plate, how far from the plate must the launch point be? So we are given a situation in which we have a large metallic plate, so large will consider it to be infinite. Uh, we have an infinite uh, metallic plate that is charged. So these two surfaces are charged. This one and this one, both of, uh, both of them will have same charge density. Magnitude of the charge density is 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb per meter squared. Uh, field, due to this infinite, uh, by now you must be aware that it, has, it develops a uniform magnetic field in the space around it. And that field due to a metallic conductor, metallic plate, Okay, due to a metallic plate is sigma divided by epsilon 0. Due to a single charged sheet, non-conducting sheet, remember it was sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. So we have two sources for the electric field, that's the reason field is sigma divided by epsilon 0, uh, double that of the non-conducting single sheet. We have done this uh, before as well in previous sessions. Now uh, sigma is given. Now what we are to do is we are uh, Suppose to launch an electron, say from this point, from a distance of d from the, sen uh, from the metallic plate, you launch this electron with some initial kinetic energy Ki that is given uh, 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 17 joules. Now, uh, this electron being a negatively charged, it will experience force opposite the direction of field, okay, opposite the direction of field. So force will be this way, electrostatic force will be this way, opposite the direction of field. Now as this electron moves towards the plate, uh, experiencing force in the opposite direction, so it will slow down, okay, so it will slow down and ultimately it will stop. We are asked that it stops just before reaching this metallic plate. So when it is about to hit the plate, it stops, its velocity becomes zero, its speed becomes zero. That would mean its kinetic energy becomes zero. I'll call that final kinetic energy. So this electron travels through a distance d before coming to rest. Obviously after that it will again come back. We're not concerned with that. This d is what we have to find out. This distance d such that electron just stops when it's about to hit the plate. Uh, for that condition we have to find out this d, this distance d. So Ki and sigma are given. What I'll be doing here is I'll be using work kinetic energy theorem, work energy theorem, which tells us that net work done, net work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. The only force acting on the electron is electrostatic force. So the only work that is being done is by the electric field. So work done by the electric field is equal to change in kinetic energy. That is to say final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. This is what I'll use to find out this D. Now since field is uniform, so it's a constant force as this electron moves, a constant field, so force will also be constant. So if force is constant, work done is simply F into D, but with the minus sign because force and displacement, they are in opposite directions, is equal to K final is zero minus K initial. Minus K initial. So minus sign minus goes, we have FD is equal to KI. So we have FD fd is equal to initial kinetic energy okay fd is equal to initial kinetic energy minus and minus goes now f is equal to charge into the field e so e into e this is magnitude of the force remember so and distance d is equal to k initial this would mean d is equal to k i divided by e into e so let's substitute the values now. Initial kinetic energy is given to us is 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 17. 
1.60 into 10 to the power minus 17. That's already in SI system. Charge of the electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Electric field is electric field is sigma divided by epsilon 0. Okay, sigma divided by epsilon 0. So let's write sigma divided by epsilon 0. Now later on we'll substitute. Now in the next step we'll substitute the values. So D is equal to D is equal to 1.6 1.6 goes so we have 10 to the power minus 17 10 to the power minus 19 this will go upstairs so plus 19 plus 19 minus 17 is my uh, 2 so 10 to the power 2 into epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 in SI system sigma is given magnitude of sigma obviously 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 6. So this is what we have to work out. I have already done that. This comes out to be 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters. 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. So we have to launch uh, this electron from a distance of 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters so that then only it will stop here when it is about to hit the plate. Okay, so that is what we will ask you to find out 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters. That will do for the session.